So I woke up with this this morning on my forehead. Can you see it? It's right here, right here. Right here, right here. Right here, right here. Today is Saturday, February the 11th, the year 2023. I am a victim of stalking, gang stalking by a worldwide criminal network. They persecute people in their homes. They persecute Christians, I was going to say, but they would persecute people in their homes using energy, chemical, physical assault, break ins and thefts, vandalism. They destroy reputations, and all of this is very difficult to prove. Physical assault is one of them. So I have mentioned in other videos that I will wake up with a demarcation on my head. I don't know what to call it. I'm hoping it'll just fade away. I can't think of one thing that I might have slept on last night that would have caused this. But something did happen yesterday. I was knocked unconscious. And as a result, when I woke up today, there's something else that's connected to it. But I cannot disclose it. This video is for adult audiences only. Targeted individuals have been talking about fallen angels, dimensional beings. If you didn't realize it, fallen angels are dimensional beings. They are here among us, but you don't see them. Jesus said that we would be living in a time period that was very like the time of Noah. And during that time period, the fallen angels were among the people. So I have wondered why are they doing this and this is spiritual warfare so what's obvious is that if you are compromised and it's difficult for you to process information, your cognition is damaged because you keep getting hit in the head with energy or other things. It interferes with your worship, your worship with, to God, your spiritual identity. It's the only thing I can think of. But it also makes me think about the 144,000 in the Bible. In the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 3, it's describing that just before the angel was going to release the fury of God against the world, he was told to wait because the 144,000 out of the tribes of Israel had to be sealed. <clears throat> and then in chapter 7, same chapter, verse 9, it talks about a great crowd. This is the book of Revelation that survived the tribulation and they're before the throne of God from every tribe, from every tribe and nation <clears throat> here in the earth. So you can, you can conclude that the 144,000 are with the great crowd who survive. But what you should, it's what I think about. Well, why would God need to seal 144,000 out of the tribes of Israel? Because he didn't seal anyone in the great crowd. It doesn't say the great crowd was sealed. And in fact, it says the great crowd is, is so big, the people who are going to survive, you can't number them. <clears throat> and it just makes me wonder about what's happening to so many of us because of these energy attacks. <clears throat> I think that God sealed these individuals because they were going to come under severe persecution during this time. And they need to serve a purpose for God. There's, there's something about them God's will, they're identified as his servants, that they would serve him during this time of the end. And he knew that they would come under severe persecution, so he seals them. Or, could be, the sealing is also for the fallen angels to see that they have the authority of Jesus. That they are his chosen, his elect, and they serve God during this time of the end. But that's really all I can say about the matter. I have to pray over it. I have to say, I think it is possible, too, for the fallen angels to deceive people into thinking that 
they are one of the ones who are sealed because that's what they do. They deceive people. They have a whole agenda on how they have it all worked out, how to come against those who are serving God during this time of the end. So you do want to pray about the activity that you're tracking, the things that are taking place in the world, because you want the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom and understanding about what's taking place. May God's peace be with you.